Hello and welcome to today's Guided Lexio Divina. My name is Jenny Kaufman. I'm one of the pastors at First United Methodist Church in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. And I'm so glad that you have chosen to spend this time in prayer, opening your heart and your mind up to God. I will read a piece of scripture. Today it is from one of the Psalms, Psalm number 30, verses 6 through 12. Um, I'll read it a total of four times, and each time will be followed by two minutes of silence. And during that time, I will invite you to consider just some aspect of how this reading may, may speak to you in your spiritual life right now. So thank you for joining us, and let us have a blessed experience of Lexio Divina. During this first reading, I invite you simply to listen and notice if there's a word or a phrase from the psalm that seems to speak to you or call for your attention. As for me, I said in my prosperity, I shall never be moved. By your favor, O Lord, you had established me as a strong mountain. You hid your face, I was dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cried, and to the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my death if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it tell of your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and be gracious to me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have taken off my sackcloth and clothed me with joy so that my soul may praise you and not be silent. O Lord, my God, I will give you thanks forever. Hear this reading now a second time, and in the quiet that follows, I invite you to consider how this word or this phrase seems to be relevant to you in your life right now. As for me, I said in my prosperity, I shall never be moved. By your favor, O Lord, you had established me as a strong mountain. You hid your face. I was dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cried, and to the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my death if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it tell of your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and be gracious to me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have taken off my sackcloth and clothed me with joy so that my soul may praise you and not be silent. O Lord, my God, I will give thanks to you forever.
Hear this reading now a third time, and in the quiet that follows, I invite you to consider what God may be inviting you to do or to be through this word or phrase. As for me, I said in my prosperity, I shall never be moved. By your favor, O Lord, you had established me as a strong mountain. You hid your face, I was dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cried, and to the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my death? If I go down to the pit, will the dust praise you? Will it tell of your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and be gracious to me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have taken off my sackcloth and clothed me with joy, so that my soul may praise you and not be silent. O Lord, my God, I shall give thanks to you forever. Hear this reading one last time, and in the quiet that follows, I invite you to just sit silently in the presence of God or else to engage with God in prayer. As for me, I said in my prosperity, I shall never be moved. By your favor, O Lord, you had established me as a strong mountain. You hid your face, I was dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cried, and to the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my death if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it tell of your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and be gracious to me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have taken off my sackcloth and clothed me with joy, so that my soul may praise you and not be silent. O Lord, my God, I will give thanks to you forever.
Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we thank you for the way you speak to us, you guide us, the way you help us to grow closer to you and kinder to one another. Help us to be open to your teaching and your guidance. Amen.